Welcome to the Mind in Color. I'm Vidette Vanderweide. I wanted to share with you today an evolutionary moment that came from a very unexpected messenger. So I just returned from Hawaii for, from a five-day retreat. And there's no doubts in my mind when I go to something like that, that the people who are in participation with me in the retreat, as well as the facilitator, of course, are always going to be messengers for me. In those everyday conversations, those conversations over dinner or lunch that happen, I'm always pretty aware that at any moment, the participants can also share messages for me that will lead to evolutionary growth. Evolutionary growth doesn't always happen to be these massive transformational retreats. I love those, but my message here at Mind to Color is creating evolution, an evolutionary lifestyle so that in those small moments, we continue to grow and grow and grow. And then when we go to a retreat or something like I just been to, we can have those, those transformational, you know, quantum kind of growth moments. But this story is a little bit different. On the last day I was in Hawaii, we had to exit our location at 11 o'clock and my flight didn't leave until 8.30 at night. So I had a lot of time to kill. One of the things that was a priority to me was to get a nice meal before I got on an overnight flight. So I found this beautiful uh, waterfront restaurant and I found a table right on the water. So I sat there waiting for my poke to come and they just, my server just brought a Mai Tai and I sat there and I thought, oh, I miss my partner. I wanna be here in Hawaii. I looked all around and saw these families and these you know, honeymooners sitting right next to me and I thought, oh, I want, I want someone here with me. And I had just picked up my phone and texted my partner and said, honey, I miss you, I'm so lonely. And I stuck my phone down picked up my Mai Tai to take a sip and I heard, excuse me. And it startled me because it wasn't, it wasn't my server. And when I turned around, this character, this man standing at my table was shocking to me. He looked like he hadn't showered in probably a week. His hygiene was not the best. And to make it even better, he had an eye patch. It was, it was straight out of this thing in my head I just I laughed I was like what is this and yet he introduced himself he said he was the mayor of Hollywood and he typically knows everyone and he didn't know me so he said I have to meet you and I thought it was such a great introduction so we sat and we chitty chatted for a little bit and there was a moment where he said to me are you lonely and in that moment something kind of went huh in me to and and I know that feeling now when something goes huh it means pay attention so I paid attention we finished our conversation I told him I was not lonely and he walked away and politely gave me my time as I turned back around to sit there I looked out over this expansive view and thought oh my gosh I really am not lonely even though I used those words uh, in my text message that honey I'm lonely when I, when I was asked if I was lonely, I literally said, no, I'm not, and I meant it. Now, of course, he probably had a, a different intention. He probably was hoping I'd say, yes, I am lonely. Why don't you have a seat and we can have our, our meal together? But I didn't. And that, what the, the, the lesson in that is the intention of the words is not always the same as what the message is that's coming through. What came through for me is to remember that out of a 15 year marriage that I had recently exited a couple years ago, I was very lonely. Although I was in a relationship, I was lonely. And that was really hard for me to, to move through and to work through every single day. And even though the message was, even though I was sitting there alone in Hawaii, drinking my Mai Tai, I was really not lonely. It deepened my love for my partner. It deepened my understanding of the difference between being alone and being lonely. And it also deepened my appreciation for not being lonely in a relationship. I understood this, this, this message that came through this unexpected character with an eye patch that those words were not his. They were there channeled through by spirit, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, to teach me and to show me another depth 
of work that I have done that I have now created in my life. A relationship that is so beautiful and enriching and nourishing that I no longer feel lonely even when I'm alone. It was such a pivotal moment for me. I sat there in utter peace and gratitude. So for you, I'd love to remind you that no matter what experience you are in, in the physical world, whether you're grocery shopping, whether you're taking a walk and you encounter someone, never ever forget that there is no coincidence in that. And when we are present and we are open to a message, we will hear it. But it's sometimes we're, we're all in our heads, we're thinking about all the things we have to do, all the things that we're worried about, that we shut down the opportunity to hear a message from someone. This gentleman could have easily been dismissed by me, by the look of him, by the, you know, just the situation. I could have just said, you need to leave me alone, I'm eating, and allow him to walk away. And yet in that moment, I was open to receiving. Whatever the conversation led to, I was open to it and I received. It was so beautiful. So never underestimate who has a message for you. So my challenge for you is today, no matter what you're doing, go out into the world and be open. And I'd love for you to share in the comments below what message people have for you, whether it is someone that seems a little bit insignificant that you want to dismiss, or maybe it is someone who is loving and a partner to you that has a message that sometimes you don't want to hear, but sometimes it's the best message we need to hear. Thanks for being here at The Mind and Color. I so appreciate you. I'm going to be sharing more insights and nuggets that I, that I received in Hawaii with you here on IGTV, and I look forward to hearing your comments below. Thanks for being here. See you soon. Mwah.